Sam Mitchell is the type of character we want as the head coach here for the Toronto Raptors. With that, I'd like to introduce Sam Mitchell. I'm going to work as hard as anyone. I'm going to put the time in to be the best I can be. But uh, I don't want basketball to be just what I am because one day when basketball is taken away from you, then what are you? Sam Mitchell is the new head coach of the Toronto Raptors. Now the main man of the Toronto Raptors, guiding the Raptors into the 04-05 season. The 2004-2005 season was a tough one for the Raptors rookie head coach. The talent just wasn't there. And as the losses started to pile up, frustrations mounted. You know, somewhere we got to find some, some, some men. I told our guys that if we don't start taking what we do seriously, we're going to, you know, we're going to roll. We're going to be washing generals. You know, we're just showing up for a win for somebody. And it's not funny. I'm not saying it to be funny. It's true. And the truth hurts. The following season, the team regressed, winning just 27 games. And again, there were issues within the dressing room. I've never been on anything on a, on a team that's lost and everything went fine and everyone was happy. I mean, you want good people and happy people, but if you're losing, you know, that, that, that should be some issues. After a step back in his second season at the helm, Mitchell was asked to sum up the year in one word. In one word. Yeah. I have a vast vocabulary, but I don't know one word. I like it. I say roller coaster. And ups and downs. Despite the ups and downs, we in the media could always count on Sam Mitchell for some good natured ribbing and a laugh or two on the practice court. Most of you guys were here and say, one number three people here yesterday. That was great. All oh, y'all don't look alike to me. I know the difference. <laughs> Ugly, very ugly. Do you have you have to ask me that though? Why can't you just say you were wrong? Slow your roll, young fella. Slow down, man. Right? It's your first day here. I, I'll never be able to just let that one go. I just, <laughs> I'm just being honest. Well, you were wrong. I'm not gonna admit I'm wrong. You were wrong yeah. though. I never understand why someone has to ask me the obvious. That is the issue that I have with you guys in general. Hey, let's go out here and let's go, execute on offense and on defense. Let's help each other out. They play hard and have fun. In the 2006-2007 season, general manager Brian Colangelo reshaped the roster, trading for T.J. Ford, reuniting him with Mitchell. Other additions were center Rasho Nesterovic and former EuroLeague stars Anthony Parker and Jorge Garbajosa. Colangelo also drafted Andrea Bargnani first overall to stand beside the franchise's budding superstar in the front court. Bosch on an ISO. Bosch with a dunk! I'm excited for the franchise and the players, but for me, the coaches, we got a job to do. It's not just about competing, it's about competing, knowing that you have a chance to win uh, night in, night out. And win they did. In the usual and some extraordinary ways, the 06 07 Raptors equaled a franchise high for wins with 47 and accomplished something they hadn't for some time. The Raps are going to the playoffs for the first time in five years. With success comes reward, and for Mitchell, the reward was... 2006, 2007 NBA Coach of the Year! Holderone at the top of the circle. He threw it away, intercepted by Jefferson. This ball game is over, and the Raptors' season is over. A first-round knockout in 07, followed by a disappointing season and another early exit in 08, had some questioning whether Mitchell could take this team where they wanted to go. And after another off-season of change and raised expectations, a mediocre start and some bad losses, the final curtain fell for Mitchell in Denver. And when your team's struggling like this and you're just not playing good basketball right now, it's tough for one, the coach, and two, the player. Tough night in Denver. It was over a long time ago. And the way they're losing right now is a problem because they're not getting the effort they need at the defensive end of the floor. They're not executing offensively. In a day, you know, coach is coach, but the players go play. But I'm telling you, just coming into the night game, I felt, felt good. I mean, we had an unbelievable practice yesterday. Just extremely disappointed the way we came out of play. I mean, there's, you know, the words just can't describe how you feel.